Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome. We're back in Warhammer 40k Rogue Traitor Alpha Access. So we do have um, some... Oh, no, don't go there. We do have some unknown ships there. Um, we're more or less repaired at the moment, but I would like to try. We have this. How do we equip that? Can we equip that? Is there like a ship section here? Um, that says, hey, here's stuff you can put on the ship. Oh. Okay. Well, this this is new for me. Uh, the colony, is that what it does it actually say? Colony? Colony manager. All right. For Drusus. Um, they need... Oh, wait. The influential cult of Drusus is willing to take uh, the young abode of faith under its wing. However, the Order of the Hammer accepts these gifts with caution, where he... The figure of Drusus eclipsing their own patron saint. Okay. That looks very cool. And it boosts their contentment. Okay. So. Requirements. Blocks project the high throne. Blocks project a celestial protector. Okay. So we can do one of these. Essentially is what we're saying. The Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiarchy lacks a capital in the Cronus expanse from which to guide the faithful. If Foulstone ascends the status of a cardinal world, the Adeptus Ministorium will ensure the prosperity of the new planet's stronghold. Heretics will tremble when they hear of the alliance between House von Wenzies and Ecclesiastic. Ecclesiarchy. Okay. So, if we do this, we gain the Emperor's Retribution feature. We gain a profit of plus seven, contentment, efficiency, security. So this one is reward and contentment and a really cool flamer. Uh, this one is the same profit factor, slightly less contentment, but we get efficiency, security, um, and... Oh, we've got people now. We already had provisions, we already had that. So now we've got people. Oh, wait. Um, and we get whatever the Emperor's Retribution is. If we do this, we still get the factor plus seven. We gain shield of faith, a little bit more contempor con contentment, and some gifts. Um, no one in the entire Coronas Expanse will make a worthier guardian of a sanctuary of faith than the head of the House von Valencius. A marvelous basilica will be erected in his honor. Uh, in the world's capital city, be decorated grand. Twin statue of the emperor and the rogue traitor. Thousands of prisoners and saints will say his name. I, I really want the flamer, but I think, I think this is probably it. I mean, I do like the idea of Shield of Faith, but I also like Emperor's Retribution. I have no idea what it is. So the question is, how do we do it? Requirements. Blocks projects. Okay, I'm not... Let's go back and click on the planet. Colony. Project list. Here we go. We didn't have this before. <clears throat> we had to leave and come back. So if we go here... We just hit execute. And we've got a level one deal. Nice. So then we come here. Now we've got level twos. And level th ooh, okay. All right. Well, let's let's start here. We need a profit factor above 40. We have that. <laughs> we don't have 12 provisions or nine chemicals yet. This would uh hospitality brotherhood of sanguine. Nalians, the spiritual community within the Ecclesiarchy has taken an interest in the pious world of Foulstone. Okay, they want to put a Santorium Sanctum on it. We get nine more people. We get contentment, security, and more profit factor. If we went touched by holiness, nine more people, contentment, profit factor. Unquenchable greed has been contacted by a high-ranking administrative official who previously helped with reclaiming the relic of St. Cognatius from House Corda. He enjoyed the generous bribes and would like more in exchange for the riches. He promises that an error will creep into the ministry's calculations so that all provisions from the agri world of Mercus Alpha will be shipped to Dargonus instead of the Navy's. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we lose profit factor a couple times. Hmm. This one gets a security to all colonies and a profit factor. Um... We need, that would block good tidings. That's this one down here. We need 12 Promethium though. Okay. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Creations, uh, let's see. Faithful brimming with fanatical zeal. Faith conveys them to exterminate subhumans, mutants, and weak of faith. They must travel to other worlds to trade empire to continue the holy cleansing. Creations of blasphemous xenos, traces of heresies, and tomes of dangerous corruption. Uh, okay. So it gives us a... All right, so people from here go out and, and take care of the, the, the enemies of the emperor, and we get a little bit more security for everybody, and we get a profit factor. Okay, we just need some Promethium because they've got to burn everything. Fair enough. This one needs a lot of everything. We need Plasteel, Mechanisms, Power Crystals, and 12 people. Gets us contentment for all colonies. Our captain's retinue gains frequency of the faith. So everybody, we get a plus 10 bonus to lore. Okay. And we get a profit factor. Okay, interesting. If we go here, again, Prometheum provisions people at Mantium. This blocks Crusade and Shrine. This gives us an Accuser of Sin. Charge ability grants additional damage equal to will. Okay, so it's we it's essentially our own little servitor. Our reputation with Drusians goes up by 10,000, and our contentment goes up by 10,000. Um... Colonization, conquest of new worlds is commanded by St. Drusus. Construction of the Pilgrim's Arcs. Okay. Crusade gets us contentment, security, and efficiency, but hurts our profit factor. However, we gain the acquisition of heresy feature. We do an additional 20% damage to demon enemies and the Astronomicon. Okay. Plus 10 to test when traveling through the warp. Uh, they need weapons and ships. Uh, may the Crusade against... Okay. And Shrine. Uh, we need Admantium, Bower Crystals, much higher profit factor. And we have to have good good tidings. So we'd have to... Two, <coughs> excuse me. Good tidings if we want that one. We need 20 people. It gives us a little bit of everything. Including the Hammer of Epiphany. I kind of like that one. I think that one seems pretty good. Um... Shrine worlds are treasures of the Imperium, spiritual gems shining in the darkness, uh, acquire an ocean's worth of thrones and bribes and greedy ecclesiarchy officials, as well as mountains of extremely rare materials to erect cathedrals worthy of statues. However, succeeding will give House von Valencia a prestige and the Order of Hammers eternal gratitude. Okay, so that one looks pretty cool. I like that one a lot. We have to do the Good Tidings one. Uh... Powerful Vox station will broadcast pairs. Okay. Well, we'll have to see. I mean, we we don't we can't really do any of them at the moment. We've got this one. Nothing do we have what we need beyond that. Cool. Let's take a look at this. Uh, what I would like to know is about the ship. Weapon, armor, accessories, usable, other. These tubes are capable. Now, it does say tubes are capable of firing four torpedoes with each salvo. Says I can equip it, but I can't equip it. Hmm. How do we... Is there a place or a, a way we can work on the ship? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, G? Now we've got us. Um... I've used all the good stuff in that last mission. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead, though, and I'm, I'm going to mark some of these. What is that? Stub carbine. Okay. 9 to 11. 10 to 14. Okay. I'm going to uh, cargo some of this stuff. Hold on. Oops. Here. Here. Let's... Uh, just drag all this stuff in. A little interest in the stub revolver. It looks kind of cool, but I think it goes in too. Um, can we put these in here? No. No, we can't. All right. Yeah, I don't know how we work on the ship. That's um, interesting. Uh, what if I go to... Click there... Lord Captain, the ship awaits your orders. Oh, I didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool. Um, hmm.
But what I'd like to do, like I said, is work on the ship. Journal, cyclopedia, colony manager, cargo management. I wonder if there's like a shipyard somewhere where we can work on it. I'm going to ignore that for the moment. And I'm going to say return to the warp. Because I really don't know what I want to do with it. But um, All right, let's come over here. Let's hit this. Oh, we've got all sorts of stuff. Langren, Silence, Orcelio, Frozen Prince. Hmm. All right, it looks like the safest one is either to go to Omicron or to go up to Talikas Epsilon. I'm going to go this way, I think. Um, we'll risk this one. I hasten to report the disturbing news brought to me by the Sheen Spirits. The matter is extremely delicate and concerns Lady Cassia. See, since her first day of board, her presence has been a disturbance to the cruise way of life. You allow it. Um, deliver your report. First incident occurred immediately after her departure. The Lady Navigator chastised one of the ship's runners, after which he went to his living quarters, killed his family, and shot himself. The second incident was noted while traversing the warp. The Lady Navigator gave the pilots the wrong instructions. The void ship was thrown off course for a matter of minutes, but this was enough for the force of the material to anger the machine spirits enough for them to start a fire in the service bay. After that, officers living near the Lady Navigator's quarters begin to express extreme emotions, hysteria, apathy, euphoria, rage. Uh, this is quite detrimental crew morale. Performance the last incident was recorded on footfall. Around 100 living birds were delivered on board during our stay on footfall. Each bird cost a hefty sum, but I failed to discover their purpose and subsequent fate. I was also told about a conflict between the Lady Navigator and the Senate show. Alas, I have no tales. If you like, you can ask Master Warsarian directly. Hmm. Things are even worse with Jay Hadari. I intercepted a Vox cast in which she promised she would, and I quote, in that Kasha, if she ever saw her again. If I may, Captain, the Lady Navigator's state of mind worries me. She is self-contained and does not mesh with my crew at all, which is why everyone avoids her. Even senior officers can be superstitious. I fear that only you are in a position to talk to her on equal footing and improve the situation. For sake my crew's safety and the lot of that of Lady Cassia herself. Okay. We are going to accept it. We will we will check out Lady Cassia in just a second here. Um, we've got nothing else going on, so let's go ahead and fly through here first. Uh, energy battery, okay. Uh, Savannah World, we probably should have gone here, 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 and around, but that's okay. I don't think it really matters so much. Begin scan. Hopefully we get some good stuff out of this. It's a Savannah World after all. No resources on a Savannah World? We should get something. Come on. Feel ripped off there. Then watch the Dead World have something. You can scan. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Ruin. We'll wait for this to go away. The ruins of an ancient imperial city are discovered on a dead world, completely deprived of an ecosystem. According to the reports, the entire settlement is contained in a titanic glass dome that once held an artificial atmosphere. Yargers detected the framework of three other similar structures that were never completed. The drone dome systems failed for whatever reason, so now you're looking at a ghost city that never managed to become a proper colony of the Imperium. Send out a crew to explore the civil district. Order scouts to gather as many supplies. Drain the remaining fuel from the generator cities. I think we explored the local palace. A lavishly decorated estate, the local rulers towering over rows of featureless bunkhouses. Several explorers perished from the cleverly hidden tripwires in the courtyard. Why were there cleverly hidden tripwires in the courtyard? But after losing their companions, the team easily disarmed the remaining traps of state. Everything of value has been promptly delivered to the trade rogue trader's vessel, and Lord Captain's given a fancy sword, found in a secret cache, once belonged to the mansion's owner. Um, I guess we go to the city's temple district. Oh, we got the ghost sword. Temple district was situated at the heart of the city. Uh, God Emperor statue intricately carved from precious crystals, hovering under the dome, supported by chains of gold, and be seen from anywhere inside the colony. Inspired by the mystic site, the expedition members set to explore with renewed fever and told many tales about the Emperor, watching them from above after they returned. Um, okay, let's gather as many supplies as possible. A blessed bolter casing, huh? People overran the city like a tidal wave, filled building after building, bunkhouse after bunkhouse, bunkhouse and retreated from the quiet streets just as quickly. There are plenty of useful things among the finding, including foodstuffs and weapons. Let's get the fuel. Um, we got uniform kit, Mechanicus creations, range weapon cream provisions. Uh, crew Grimley points out the colony was running out of fuel and life support system had not failed prematurely. The locals would still perish due to lack of energy. All right, well, we got some cool stuff. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead quickly and we're gonna go back to the bridge. We'll see what cool stuff we had. <clears throat> Maybe we'll talk to the navigator. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe, there we go. I'm gonna start by looking at the stuff we got. All right, Ghost Sword, 15 to 19, 32. 32 for the, uh, the profit factor on that one. Whereas our Elite Chain Sword, is uh is only 25 only only 25 is freaking huge as it is so 15 to 19 so uh average is the same same penetration plus 10 to parry minus 10 to enemy skill so it really isn't hugely different um it's a little bit more consistent in range you know 14 to 20 versus 15 to 19 and other than that, I don't really see a huge difference. It's got the same attacks, same abilities. I think it's pretty good. Um, we've got some, oh, and let's take a look at this. Bless bolter casing. Oh, excuse me. Grants is aware plus one MP. It also grants plus five bonus on initiative rolls. I am going to give it to you. <laughs> um. Yeah, initiative and movement points. I like that. Um, let's go back over here. We got some levels to raise here. Um, you have what? A normal chain sword. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we give that to Heinrichs because I think he has a power sword. Um, we'll go strategist, sure. Uh... Oh, well, hold on. This person. Uh, why can I not... I guess because she's not in the party. Okay, that's fine. We'll worry about it later. Um, Navigator is... She's down over here, right? I think she's down here. Come on. Why Why can I not move? Um, I guess because I wasn't selected, even though I'm the only one. Seems odd, but okay. I'm going to give it a quick F5 here real fast since we got some cool stuff. Oh, I never did give that power sword away. We'll do that in a second. Greetings, rogue trader. Cassia raises her chin and smiles politely. I'm always glad of the opportunity. Um, I heard rumors you're not getting along with the crew. Whisper check succeed. Will power check. Not here. I'm begging you. Aren't noblemen supposed to discuss things away from the servants? Let's go into my study. Nobody will disturb us there. Then lead the way and I'll answer all your questions. Okay. Is it automatically going to put us there? Yes, it did. All right. Uh, what does he want to talk about, Lord Captain? I have nothing to say to your unfounded accusations about my conflicts with the crew. I cannot recall my having a single quarrel with any of your people aboard my, during my entire time. The messenger you rebuked butchered his own family, then killed himself. I haven't rebuked a single errand boy on this ship. Oh, I think I remember. A kind young man with a shy smile and skillful figure with too much rot and ochre on his shoulders. I grew tired of the disgusting color and advised him to lighten his burden by casting the weight off his shoulders. He did not come the next day or ever again. Um, during the warp voyage, you gave the wrong orders, which led to the vessel shifting us course and the service bay being destroyed. I saw something in the warp, something vast, predatory, shimmering in indescribable colors. It came out of nowhere and stared at the ship with hundreds of hungry eyes right there in our path. I decided to change the course while it was still possible, but did not know how to sow panic. Would it have been better to tell the crew we were headed straight into a monster's gaping maw? Um, the officers are reluctant to be quartered next to your quarters because constant emotional outburst it causes them. Some even maim themselves and others. I already told you I cannot control my abilities. What else do you want from me? Will I be assigned a pariah chaperone or will you put me in suppressing shackles? Uh, would you mind telling me why you needed 100 species of birds and what you use them for? Admittedly, I am at a loss myself. The day we arrived on footfall, I sent a request to the ship's quartermaster and asked him to get me a songbird. But he never asked for clarification. And shortly before we left, I had a countless number of cages delivered to me all wrapped in bright red panic with flickering tints of fear. There was a bird in every one. I was so happy. I thought I would have a hundred friends instead of just one. They were squeaking so piteously. I let the poor things out. I even fed them my breakfast and dinner. But the stupid birds would not stop chittering in after bedtime. They were dashing about the room, smacking me in the face with the wings and defecating. I became angry and suddenly they started pecking at each other's eyes and attacking me. Then I became more afraid and they fell over dead. I do not think I want to keep pets anymore. 
Uh, we care to share my thoughts. Uh, my crew has good reason to fear you. You are truly a monster. Uh, you have a kind soul, but have difficulty reaching out to people. I could teach you the art of communication if you like. You've done terrible things, but I not want to presume to lecture personal noble blood. Woes dog your steps, but we'll find a way to defeat them. Everyone here who has dared slander you will be punished. Um, I think we'll work on the art of communication. That'd be wonderful. My education at Year Act 5 was cut short, but I'd realized by then that the wisdom of books is a poor substitute for the wisdom of experience. Very well. Since we're done with this misunderstanding, I'd like to change the subject. It would only be fair for me to ask you a few questions, wouldn't it? Don't mistake me. I'm not going to accuse you of anything. It's just that you're the most worthy interlocutor on the entire ship, but you were always so, and you were always so busy. Uh, what would you like to ask? I read a treatise on Pisces de Mobius very recently, who claimed that subjects would never believe their new ruler was better than the old one unless the old one had been a tyrant. No matter the circumstances, the low-born rabble became deluded about their prospects and rebel in favor of their base desires. All right. Interpretation is not entirely correct. If the subjects have grown accustomed to the ruling house, all the sovereign must do is refrain from breaching long-standing traditions. Adjust unwanted laws as gradually as you would shift the bed of a flooded river and no one will take uh, your power from you. On the contrary, uh, the loyalty of subjects can be bought at a pittance. Lower a tax, throw them a festival, or feed the or feed the needy. A great suggestion once every cycle will exalt you in the eyes of the rabble as if it was own blessing. Um, persuasion 30. Which in theory we have 100% chance, but which we've been we've been failing 100% chances all along. It's always been my opinion that subjects expect two things from the sovereign: to abuse power and bless their babies. Succeed at both, and boring essays become unnecessary. Um, I'm going to go with lore imperium. Indeed, I was not wrong about your merits or your ability to hold a conversation. I hope my second question has not confound you either. According to my 20 the 20 tomes penned by the preacher. Uh, Hoist talk, Istifan, the forgotten, mercy and cruelty go through the world hand in hand. But people flock only to one pan of the scales. Would you rather inspire fear in your followers or be magnanimous and choose awe? Ooh. Um, coercion, again, 100%. Rather crush a rebellion than condone one. Um, I will exercise restraint and lenience. Excessive suspicion and mistrust harden the hearts of people and turn them against each other. One must be a tyrant, a friend, and a jester, one says. What matters is that to clearly discern which role is required at a given time. Um, well, we've got a fellowship of 55, we've got a persuasion of 85, and a coercion of 70. So that's a plus 30. That's a plus 55. And that's plus 25. They're all 100%. Um, we'll go for that one. Hey, we made it. There's so much power in your words. I uh, understand what your subject is to follow you. Okay. I admit I was afraid we were too different, and yet we realized I can be candid. Uh, please do continue. I must confess that sometimes I can hardly bear the burden the house has placed upon me. I feel I'm not doing my best. Tell me how you, heir to the trade empire, can bear the responsibility of billions of lives each day, uh, lives day after day, and not stoop under all the weight. Um... It's not easy, but I tried to lead the dynasty for prosperity by worthy means. Thank you for your patience. You're helping me see the world in different colors. Uh, allow me to bid you farewell for now. I am heading back to my chamber to... Okay. All right. So that errand is complete. So the next thing I would like to do is see if we can figure out... Uh, can we rest? I don't know that anybody has any terrible injuries. But we'll go for it. Two days. All right. Uh, next thing I want to do, let's go ahead. Um, we can't, let's see if we can go through and find the Inquisitor. There he is. Uh, yeah, he's got a regular, oh, we can't use that one. Hmm, can any, anybody other than us use it is the question. We can use it. <clears throat> no, nobody else can use it. All right, so it's going to have to be us. That's fine. We'll throw it in there. Other people can use this elite chain sword. Um, who else has a chain sword? Uh, she does. We may as well swap that. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it there. Okay. So the next thing I still want to try to figure out is if we can equip the ship. Maybe if we talk to... Um, not the Seneschal. I don't know what he called the the 
the ship's master guy, Lord Captain, Bridge Officer, Abelard. There we go, Vigdis. Um, a thin, pale woman stands head and shoulders above the rest of the crew. Thick bundle cables. How may I serve you? Uh, fellowship? I guess we could do that. We failed. Uh, what are the Vox Master's duties? Ears and voice of the void ship. Incoming outgoing messages. Okay. Um, Vox Spirits brought you anything interesting lately? Uh, there's unrest on the lower decks. The guards are actively looking for rabble rousers, but the population is extremely unhappy with the harsh treatment. Many are cursing Abelard, whose signature marks the orders and whose name the oppression is being committed. Okay. Uh, you may be interested to know that a group of officers was discussing a grim rumor over lunch where it has it that the apparition of Lord Captain Theodora has been sighted on board lately. Uh, they say she's haunting the decks, dragging wayward crew members off to oblivion. Disquiet has spread throughout the ship. The anomaly has been reported in different sections. All right. Uh... Master Heinrichs von Kallix expressed interest in our communication station Vox networks for a while ago. Interrogator appears to be very well versed in the nature of the sacred technology, and it worries me. A man of his knowledge and his line of work is capable of discreetly planning his own device and systems. We'll be vigilant, but we sh uh, be sh try to be more careful as well. All right. So that did not do what I wanted it to do. I want to see, again, how we can potentially uh, fix our ship. Um... All right, didn't give me an option to talk to him about uh, not doing horrible things to our people. Okay. Let's go ahead and check the map again. See what else we got going on here. I think we got one more planet to do at least, right? Yeah, we got the mind world over here. I'm going to begin the scan. Hey, we got some plasteel. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and accept that. There we go. Get a little bit better. Finally, it's nice to get something. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Uh, shut down the extractable resources have already been deployed in the trade. Oh, uh, no, no, cancel. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're good with what we got. Um, yeah, I wish there was a way... We could equip stuff on the ship. That's my only complaint right now. I have those extra tubes. I don't know what they're for. Um, let's hit this. Um, I'll go ahead and spend the one point. <sighs> Feud is broken out between the clans. Maintain the void shield arrays. Rumor has the Lady Theodora was last seen in the Lord Dex. So one of the families called for a rebellion against the usurper of the void ship. No one believes their mad tales, but unrest has begun at the French compartments. Ship's guards ready to eliminate the instigating care or pacify the entire void crew, shield crew, the distress. Find the source of the rumors, punish those responsible. Destroy the rebellious clan, pacify the entire void. Those who are succumb to the provocation of the unruly are no less guilty. Have no desire to meddle in the affairs of ancient void ship clans. Uh, we'll find the source of the rumors. Senator Wasserian would say there are no innocents in such cases. The clans are engaging the entire voice ship. Convey your wishes to the guards later, but right now the unrest must be stopped and people return to the directories or place. No violence. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, situation in Faustum requires your attention. A pilgrim has publicly declared that St. Trusus sends him revelations in his dreams. There are undocumented reports claiming he's performed miracles. For as long as the authenticity of the prophet remains to be verified, uh, Hectarchus has denied him entry into the temples of the Order of the Hammer. Meanwhile, the young man preached on the street, gathering his own flock. His eminence, Silencius, Cardinal of Faustone, has privately shared his doubts regarding the prophet's legitimacy. He believes the nuisance could pose a danger, suggests they be subject to a trial of faith. Such trials are known to result in contender's death. What should be done with him? Uh, what do we know about him? Uh, Tiber Hike, void builder for footfall. He now prefers to be called Brother Pure Voice, an unremarkable commoner with no family. Um, his first revelation came to him when he disembarked from the pilgrim ship. His sermons were directed at commoners, appealing to them for humility and mercy. No anarchical pronunciation or radical deviations from creed have been found in his words of you yet. Um, uh, and Dr. him into the Lord of the Hammer. Provide prelate uh, Hectarchus the additional force to the rest of the anointment of so-called prophet. 
It's okay. Public arrest inducted in the Lord of Hammering now stays the art of humility, and his words show far greater obedience. Permitted the preacher to visit the Lord's captain, captain ship so he could offer prayers for his health and bless the ship. Okay. We don't need random people wandering around talking, you know, against what we have. An unknown ship. All right, let's go to here first. We'll go this way. And maybe we'll end it that. We're at 30 minutes already, though, so I don't know. It might be nice to have a little bit of action. All right, we've got Admantium. All right, we are definitely going to start working on that because we need it for a lot of stuff. Okay. Now, let's go to the ocean world. Boop. Those look like chaos ships to me. Begin scan. No resources, but we got something here. Oh, we got some cool stuff. Forbidden Xenos Compendium. Five bonus to lore Xenotexts. Okay. Aldari Plasma Grenade. Nice. And some good stuff for cargo. Very cool. All right. Jungle World. Begin scan. All right, we got five Xenotech. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think yes. Yes, we want Xenotech. Um, that's uh, this one. Okay. What do we got going on here? All right, we've got uh, a group manager. I'm going to go, last time I went with these two. I'm going to go with these two this time. Mostly because I gave her a cool sword, and we need to get their levels up. So we may as well do that. I think we'll do that, and then we'll probably... Ooh, this is a cool setup. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Um, come over to here. You do have your new cool sword, right? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead. Get you leveled up. Veteran. Uh, chain weapon expert. Maximum attack of all attacks with chain weapons increased by four. Combat master. Enemies gain no bonus. Uh, we're going chain. We just gave her a cool chain sword. We're going with it. Um, and then here, um, I'm going to go more agility. Let's get her a little bit more. I worked on demolition. It also works on dodge, I think. She and her keep the footing and treasures. Determines character's movement rate. I like that. That seems like a good idea. All right, now let's go here. Yes. Yes. She was very loud in my head here. Um, she's the assassin, and she's a psyker. Hmm. Perception. I'm going to go with perception, I think. And then here, shots uh, against the marked target, 50%. Search supplies. Let me, let me look down here. Laz weapon, plasma weapon, focused mind. May preserve more psychic powers at a time without spending additional XP. Oh. I think that works for her. Okay. What, does she have more? Did I not get them? Accept. I have to accept. There we go. That will work. All right, let's end this one here. We'll be back next time to explore the planet. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.